And we back. Today we're starting off with the worst team of all time. We're talking the team of 40 overall players and we're rebuilding them for 20 seasons. The goal, of course, is to win as many championships as possible. It's been a minute since we've done a 20 year rebuild. I think it was like the first week of this game dropping. So it makes sense that now that this game is wrapping up to bring it back. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into a 20 year rebuild. Buckle in y'all. So this is my 40 overall team. I just thought it was easier to do a fantasy draft where I drafted players with different type of contracts and just change their names. Wow, you're a, you're a, you're a center now, John Wall. I mean, I'm sorry, not John Wall. This is JP Wade. This isn't Gordon Hayward. This is J Joff Heal, Cedric Liston, Alexander Greenwood, <laughs> Maurice Petrus. I just randomly selected names and stuff. So everybody has the same initial, but they're different players with, with the same face games. But as you can see, everybody's 40 overall, except for JP Wade. What makes him special? I don't know. I'm trying to lower it. He's a special kind of beast. No, <laughs> oh, it's the badges. He's got 43 badges. Of course, the badges are carrying. Okay. So I, again, I drafted a team with different contracts because I didn't want to just use a stock 40 overall team because majority of those players will become free agents. And that's no fun. There's no rebuild in that. But we got people that are under contract for some time, unless we do trades or whatever to, to free up some stuff. But yeah, we still have to do a rebuild portion. Let's, let's take a look at these incoming rookies. We got Terry Manis. 7 2 19-year-old out of Kentucky. He is the bona fide first overall pick or projected to be, but he don't look like a mega stud. Now, the overall is B+. Plus. Maybe that is about the highest you can get. I'm trying to figure out how we do this because, obviously, if we're doing 20-year rebuild, I don't want to be like, doom, doom, first overall pick, and then I know I could get somebody that can help us right now. Oh. Well, that's cap. Um, I, I guess we can't. But you know what I'm saying? This is a 20-year rebuild, so I got to be conscious of our draft picks, of our dra draft equity. And I think this first year might be a little simulation year, man. I might be able to flip some of these smaller contracts, like um, two years of Dyson Ponds. Nope. One year of Kang. Okay. That's a... Hey. By 2026, we're going to be a good team. So if I can get an extra pick for this year's draft, even though it is a second round, I'll do that. And this is fantasy. So um, the Miami Heat are not the Miami Heat that me and you know. They have John Morant and some other pieces. Uh, I mean, that might be a high second round pick. And they just traded for a dude that can't who play. He, he literally can't play basketball. He's bad. So that's that. I think that might be the, literally the only trade we do. I'm going to do some scouting. Actually, let me go hire some scouts. Because if we're going to have a second round pick, I want to make sure that that guy is the best guy available. I got to look at this from the perspective of a guy that's going to be in charge for multiple, multiple seasons. In other videos, man, I'll be knowing that at the most, it's a two-year, three-year rebuild. So I can go ahead and trade all my picks. I'm not doing that yet, at least. I can't say for show, for show, because if a, if a person becomes available later on in the video and it might take a couple first round picks to do it but i think that guy could be part of our future i would 100 do the trade but as of right now we keeping on all of our picks and uh we're gonna be bad like like 23 points in an nba game bad year one is wrapped i can't tell you for sure but i think we won a total of zero games this season and if anybody wins zero games the, the coach gets fired. I'm not going to do it right now because it's the playoffs. But as soon as this playoffs is over, coach get fired. And we're going to hire somebody with zero resume. So he's hopefully going to be the coach for the next 19 years. Now, we got to get somebody that's extremely under. Aaron Fox just won finals MVP, by the way. And the Miami Heat, who we traded for their pick, did not make the playoffs. Boom. So, I mean, it's a second rounder, but it is what it is. All right, let's 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 fire the coach because ain't no ain't no way we couldn't get one game out of the, out of the season. 14% chance. I will be honest with you. I do not remember a time in NBA 2K22 where I was projected to have the first overall pick and I got the first overall pick. Until now. All right. I can stop saying that. <laughs> Until now, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. And I think we were taking that big man because he's actually a stud. I'm going to go over to head coach Rick Carlisle. You got to go. I'm sorry. Janeiro Pargo, you got to go. Who are you? Lloyd Pierce, you got to go. We're rehiring somebody with... No, this guy has an F in defense. We can't go the traditional Michael Stafford route. That's kind of lame. We got to go somebody that's not real. Or, I mean, he could be real. Or she could be real. But no head coaching experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, Charles Lloyd, I don't know if this is a real guy. But I don't recognize him as an NBA coach ever. So, Charles Lloyd is hopefully the next coach of the future. I did some scouting, of course, like I said. 
And that guy's a lot better than I anticipated. He's only got nine badges, but this guy's a stud at 19 years old. He's got all NBA ceiling and not Hall of Fame ceiling, which kind of sucks. But nobody else in here is even a real possibility, if you ask me. All right, we're just going to go ahead and draft the best player available. I ain't even see what his name was, but hey, welcome to the Indiana Pacers. It is your time to be a stud. This is about to be the best draft pick we've had since... um. We drafted Kawhi. We won't make the same decision that the Pacers made when they did it. All right, so here's our pick. Um, second rounder, 19-year-old playmaker. All NBA ceiling. And it could be Chris Paul, George Hendricks. Fire name. Hendricks in itself, just a fire name. First name, last name, I don't care. Hendricks, very good name. And this is the Miami Heat pick. We got enough point guard play. Danny Green, can you shoot? You can't be Danny Green without a jump shot. I'm sorry, you're not him. Point guard Penny Hardaway. Let, these, let them dudes fight out for who's the point guard of the future. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we playing for much else. I think this guy's going to be a stud. He's 19. This guy's 22. Actually, I don't need you. I'm just going to go with the, the George Hendricks guy. These two draft picks can save our organization. Okay, what do we do now? Oh, Ish Smith was on the team. Ish Smith should be... Okay, now averaging 11 assists is dope-ish, but you played on a team of 40 overalls and only gave us 9 points per. They got Ish Smith in the game not attempting any threes. We talked about this in previous videos. It's the worst thing. Why is he not attempting any threes? We're going to lose J.P. Wade unless he takes his option because he is John Wall. And John Wall has a $46 million option. We're not going to have money to spend this offseason. That, that's the point I'm making. He accepted, as he should, because why wouldn't you accept $47 million as a 40 overall player. Why leave that money on the table? So we will not have money to spend. We're gonna have like a mid-level, which I could potentially use to get like a wing. I might start trading away second rounders to get rid of some of these players. Dominique McGuire, Miami Heat pick. I see, I don't really care about the Heat pick. Look, I could get rid of two of them and just say, hey, 76ers, y'all screw. Or New York Knicks, y'all screw. Which organization do I wanna give them to? Cause that's four organizations. They People like, Kenny hates whatever team. Nope, because I'm closing my eyes and we're trading them to the Cavs. I'm sorry, Cavs fans. Who do you have on your team right now? Shea, Tyler Hero. Y'all a super young team anyway. Y'all can take two years of Dominic McGuire and one year of J J Jari. I'm not, I'm not pronouncing that. Okay, so we got rid of two contracts right there. Like, we're not going to be able to get rid of the John Wall contract or even the Vucevic contract or the Gary Neal contract or Gary Neal, no. Or this contract. Like, these are too big of a numbers. But we got rid of two of them. And the only trade over here is for the guy that we don't want. So we got rid of two of them, which is a good sign. Obviously, year number two, it looks like we will not be competing for anything. But can we take a flyer on somebody? Not Derrick Jones Jr. I, his shot tennis is at 30. So even if he's good, you wouldn't even be able to tell. I need somebody that can put up some crazy stats. So people are like, oh, snap. We've been sleeping on this guy. Who had a good shot tennis even though they, like, low-key kind of bad? Nobody. It makes sense. These players shouldn't have high shot tendencies because why would they ever be in a position to shoot the ball more than a couple times a game? There, there's a reason why their overalls are this low. Thaddeus Young, he's 34 though. No, 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 no. Everybody knows that Thaddeus Young at one point in time was, was actually nice. I'm going to get Davis Bertans to get his, uh, get his value up. That's what I'm thinking. Can Davis Bertans average 16 points per game for us? Probably. Timothy Lawawu Cabarro, he could probably average eight, nine points per you know what I'm saying? Like, we about to have a nice team. The goal for this season, win a game. Not more than that. Might be another year where we're super tanking, and you can see uh, these guys got worse by 43, 43, 41. That was just me changing the overalls. All right, this upcoming season should be cool, because that's it. I didn't even look at the center shot, Tennessee, but I'm assuming based on nothing that bro's about to come out here and win rookie of the year easily, because nobody else should be having the keys to the car like he is. Terry Manis. 60 shot tendency, which is below average. We'll, we'll take that right now. We got Hendrix. What is your shot tendency? Okay, not as high as you want it. But I reserve the opportunity to change that if I wanted to. You know what? I will. Shot tendency for my top guy. At least get me to average a little above average at 70. And then I want Hendrix to be a, a stud. You know what I'm saying? Can I somehow have Hendrix be mentored by one of these bad dudes that still have badges? Like the John Wall guy should still have badges. Yeah, John Wall's got crazy badges. Great. Okay, give me Dimer, give me Needle Threader bro, uh, Silver, give me Quick First Step from John Wall, cool. Terry, I want you being mentored by Vucevic. I mean, I mean, not Vucevic, by Norris. Give me a bunch of stuff like, yeah, give me Brick Wall, I guess. First game of the season, we put up 100 plus points. Wow, oh snap, the boy's about to be hooping, huh? We put up 100 plus points. We're 100% winning the game this season. And Man Manis is actually gonna average a good 20 plus. You love to see that. Okay, so another season, 
of us being bad. Oh, we want. We actually want a game too. Austin Rivers. I never. I don't remember signing you, but welcome. We got to get rid of some of this money though, because the longer contracts. Like, come on, man, Alexander. Can I? Can I somehow throw a second? The one of the Cavalier seconds. It's only that one team, bro. I don't want the first four years of this challenge be just us simulating and being bad because that kind of defeats the purpose of the rebuild if we just let all the contracts just be done. You know what I'm saying? Only time until I'm going to get into scouting. Hopefully, there's another stud up top. I don't expect to win the, the uh, lottery back-to-back -back seasons, but let me take a look here. Yeah, not a great draft class anyway. So maybe... I should be trading like Austin Rivers and one of the big contracts with my pick top top five protected. And we should be able to bring in James Harden. Um, or automatically just restart the RJ Barrett. Now that's two first round picks. I don't know if I feel comfortable to do that, but we got legitimate offers here. If I trade for Wiggs, can I convince Wiggs to not want a max contract this upcoming season? Well, what is he at? He's extremely loyal to the team that he's with, which is the Warriors right now. I could also get in Rui Hachimura and maybe take a flyer on him at 24 years old. We could do a pick swap to get D'Angelo Russell where we get the worst of the picks. Don't really enjoy that. James Harden is a crazy one, but he's 33 and he's under contract for four years. I don't really love that, even though it is James Harden. The Mikael Bridges trade is interesting because in this universe, I could change his shot tendency so he's not angry at us all the time. He's one year younger than Wiggs. He's got to be cheaper than Wiggs too, right? 21 M's over the next couple years. That's pretty good. Caleb Martin, pretty good. RJ is an interesting one, but I can't give up two first round picks. Can I somehow convince them not to want a second first round pick? Okay, now they bugging. I don't really want Jeremy Grant, but I gotta make a 15 million. I'm gonna try to get away with giving them this calf second and this calf second instead of that first. They really, really want this first. 2024 best swap. You got yourself a deal. Rowan, welcome to the team. I gave up a lot for that. I did, I legitimately gave up a lot. But at this rate, we don't have any 40 overall players getting any PT for us anymore. Definitely not a playoff team. But we're going to win more. I would say we win. How many games we got one right now? One in 10. I think we win 22 games this season. I want to send RJ to some type of mentorship. Because I want to progress RJ to be a stud. And one of the staples of this video. He's only what? At this at the age of 22. I want you being mentored by Bryn Forbes. By Bryn Forbes. Absolutely. Go shoot the heck out of the ball, RJ. That's what we need. All right. Year two is a wrap. We do get rookie of the year at 20 points per game, 14 rebounds, seven assists. I thrive to be one of the league's best. So being all NBA means a lot. He was all NBA as a rookie. Oh, snap. We got the right one. First team, he was the best center in all of basketball. He was the best center in all of of basketball this season. Are you serious? That's great for our morale around camp. How many total wins? We only have 14, so that's not ideal. But hey, Rowan is getting better as well. Per 36 is looking good. Overall, 21 points per, almost 50% from the field. Like to see that. Jeremy averaged 17. Okay, what about my guy Hendricks? 12 and seven and a half-ish. Okay, boys. All right, this is our last year of being bad. I said it. We got the worst record in basketball, which means that uh, the Bulls won the championship. Shout out to Jason Tatum and um, is that Lonzo? Lamelo and Zach Levine. Oh, okay. But no, Jason Tatum, DeJounte Murray, and some people. Okay, okay, okay. Well, last year being bad. We were bad, which means that that pick, I was top five protected. Looks like it's going to be ours still. I went straight to the draft, didn't I? It's, we have the fifth pick. I tried. The, I was supposed to go to the lottery. I was supposed to go to the lottery. But we did get the fifth pick, so I'll take that. I did not do enough scouting this year, so that's not ideal. We got a shooting guard here. He's 22 years old. He might be Tony Allen. Eh, not really a huge fan of that, personally. We got this point guard, Gary Payton. Eh, he's already 23 years old. Dennis Johnson. It's a lot of people with some high ceilings in this class, man. Some high ceilings. I don't really want this pick, though. I would rather package these picks together to get... <sighs> To get rid of these last two bad contracts. Daniel Gafford, Damian Lillard. Bam, but that's two first rounders that I don't want to give up. This is the only one that doesn't involve giving up two picks. It's for Chad Washington, who last year was the 17th overall pick, and we get a first round pick for 2025. I'll do that to get rid of this money. You see what how much salary cap we have now? That's a dub. Okay, not too bad. 
We got a second round pick. I feel like every second round, it's only point guards. Like, like why are we only scouting point guards? Legit, we only scouted point guards. I'll draft you. You got the most bad out of the people we, we scouted. And we're done. It wasn't a great draft class. The best guy available was a 78, but this is the point guard. I, I'm really, really interested in him. I got a point guard that I kind of like. Name's George. I need to see George progression, though. I will say that. RJ, of course, you're coming back on that qualifying. We want to max you out low key. Jeremy Grant got zero offers. I like the way he played for us last season. I'm bringing him to the team. We have enough money to potentially do some craziness, but it has to be controlled craziness. You know what I'm saying? We got Jordan Poole, who I would offer. I'm going to offer Jordan Poole a contract with the idea of moving him over to the two. I'm guessing he's going to get matched. I don't know if I've ever got somebody out of restricted free agency. And if we don't get him, I'll take Gary Trent Jr. I lowered his money too because he's got zero offers. So I can get in at 16 and I'll take that 16. So Jordan accepted the offer. We just have to see if his team is going to match it. And I got to make sure that we don't renounce the rights on RJ, who also has 15 offers in himself. Can we cite all of these people? Oh, snap. Did we just win free agency or what? We had an All-NBA first team center. Jeremy Grant is back and he's got Chad backing him up. And Chad is, is exactly that. He's a Chad. RJ's back. Gary Trent is a shooting guard. Gary was supposed to be the backup plan in case Jordan Poole didn't sign. Now I got both. I mean, those are good problems to have. I'm just gonna fill out the roster. Henderson literally just come off the bench. I would be okay with that. I mean, he don't have to be the point guard of the future at 20 years old. We'll see what he got. Cause right now, Jordan Poole, Gary Trent, RJ, Jeremy, and Terry is kind of solid. Especially if we run it at like a nine man instead of an eight man. So now off the bench, we don't really have a backup center or I could just have like a 10 man and just have, you know, Derek Favors get some backup center minutes. We should win the first game of the season. Let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, triple-double with five made threes. Oh, stop sleeping. My boy Terry is about to take off, even though he was already great last season. I'll make first thing if you forgot. We have four people put up 20-plus points. Game two? Are we nice? Okay, game two, we kind of get back. Dang. Oh, my God. K Cunningham, toe us up. K Cunningham and Trey Young is their backcourt. That's an insane team right there. Okay, I feel good. I'm going to go to around the trade deadline. See, see what's going on around the league. Maybe we buy us. Maybe we sell us. I don't really know. But we're winning games. Evan Mobley is on a team that's selling. Add him to my list. I, d I don't think we're going to have enough to get him. But come on, he's Evan Mobley. For anybody else around the league selling right now, we're doing okay. We're the five seed. Jaron Jackson Jr., add him to the list. I mean, at this point, if you're on the selling team and young, I'll, I'll take it, bro. I don't need Jeremy Grant if we're going to have Evan Mobley. Obviously, they're going to say no to that. I will also give you Chad. We haven't grown attachment to Chad. What are you averaging? Seven and six? I have some solid numbers, low key. We will give us back Austin Reeves, okay? Also, he's actually better than anticipated as far as value goes. So you give us about four con cork moss, still two star value. What the heck? Everybody's two star value. Never mind. Uh, I could give you this Pistons best swap. I'll give you our pick. We just <laughs> we just traded for emo. So our core right now is 21 year old Terry Manis, 22 year old Evan Mobley, 23 year old RJ, and 24 year old Jordan Poole. I guess we counted Gary Trent, but let's be real. If the right offer comes up, I will trade Gary Trent. But the rest of these dudes, I think that's the core that could win a championship eventually. Not eventually, soon, like next year. We got to fill out the rest of the roster so we don't, you know, we're not relying on Austin Rivers. Actually, take Austin Rivers' minutes away. What the heck? We're going to give Emo those minutes. I mean, this video was supposed to be about Terry Manis, but now we got Evan Mobley. So it's like, our front court is elite. If, if, I mean, future. It projects to be elite. I can't say it is right now. Zion won MVP. Really good numbers. Lenny Rush was the se a second round pick. Wow. Six man of the year. George. Georgie boy. I mean, these numbers are really, really good, bro. George is nice. Okay. All right. Wow. Tom Gregory has shoulders on him. Okay. So we're a playoff team with a three seed and Manis is back to be an all NBA. It doesn't matter if we improve the roster around him. See, some of y'all thought the reason he made it is because his numbers just was good because his team's bad. His numbers were about the same ish with the team being good. He's actually built like that. Now we are the three seed. The rest of the stats are here. I don't know if we're actual championship contenders, but I'm going to say we are because I trust our guys. First round, I'm going against the, the uh, Bucks, who have Darius Garland, Jared Allen are together. That's not good. Those guys are really good together. They got chemistry outside of this fantasy draft. But it's, it's a good... Whoa. Wait a minute. Where's Gary... Why is Gary Trent coming off the bench for Gary Harris? 
Who authorized that? It wasn't, it wasn't me. So first game, let's get that win. We lost. Okay, game two, we won. I'm not expecting us to be a championship team this year. I think next year's our year. So if we lose in this first round, I'm not even, I'm not even tripping and we lost. All right. So we're three years in. Zero rings. But we're building a foundation to be the team to win rings. The Bulls are running the league anyway right now. So I'm 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 okay with it. Can we upgrade Gary Trent? The answer is yes. It's Anthony Simons. You know what? No. No, 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 no. You know why? Because I, I think there's a world. I gotta see how George gets better. I think there's a world where George is our point guard starting next season, and Jordan is our shooting guard, and then Gary Trent Jr. is coming off the bench. I think that's a possibility next year. We gotta fill out the rest of this roster so that we have like a backup center that we trust or a backup big that we trust. I think a lot of things are possible. That's all I'm saying. I think we're ready. 290s are close to 90. Now the bottom is still iffy, but but we got we gotta do what we gotta do. I think that we're gonna lose Hendricks in free agency next season, which sucks. But he didn't get much better than the 80 that he is right now, so this might be a ceiling anyway. Gary Trent Jr. still on the block, if you want to call it that. We're gonna go into the deadline and see what it's about. This is year number four. I'm gonna trade Gary Trent. I'm thinking of doing about doing the Charlotte trade just because it gives us a little bit more depth. So yeah, we're gonna do the Charlotte trade. Spencer Dinwiddie. I gave up that pick because the Thunder are the second seed right now. We're moving Poole to the two, and Hendricks is winning the starting job. He's a favorite to win six man of the year right now. We don't really care about those accolades like that. We just want to win a championship because it's been long enough. So that, that's exactly what we're doing. Jordan Poole is going to move over because y'all know he's more of a scorer anyway. So that's what our team looks like. We traded back for Jeremy Grant. And now I can low-key put either... I'm going to put Jeremy as a backup three technically just so the numbers look a little bit better. So Jeremy's at a backup three. Now it looks a little bit better. And then we could take Caruso's minutes because, I mean, he won. He shouldn't be hooping like that anyway. All right. So this is what our team looks like, man. Championship contender. We are the one seed. By four games at this point, I didn't even look to see who was selling rebuild. We might have been able to get a little bit more value, but I like our roster a ton. Luka won MVP, so that's that. We get coach of the year. I'm pretty sure that's us. Yeah, Charles Lloyd. I think we, that's the guy we, we got. And then this is us as well, Reggie Pope. We did not get all NBA first team for our boy this season or second team, but he is on 13. The numbers will be down because he's got way more options. Like he averaged 19 and 13. Those are really good with six assists. Those are really good numbers still. So we love that. Kaminga, oh snap. Jonathan Kaminga doing his thing. Evan Mobley's on defensive team. You love to see that. All right, y'all. We're at the one seed. This is year number four. I think it's time for us to start being a championship team. Miami Heat are first. John Morant's a 97 overall. He's got quickly with him. They got a guy named Josh Smith. Not that Josh Smith, but a different one. We win in four. Great. Detroit basketball. Good old Central Division matchup. They got J-Mac at the one. I'm not worried about this team whatsoever. Now, that forward spot, that power forward the center, to have those two dudes defensively down there and then also have Jalen Brown is solid. I'm not worried about a team that started point guard as J-Mac. No disrespect to J-Mac. But I'm looking at, I'm thinking about trying to win a championship here. 3-2. Okay. Uh, next, we have Chicago Bulls who have been dominating the entire sim. Now they're a lower seed because Christian Wood is now, not Christian Wood, Marquise Chris is now their starting center with Jay Sean Tate. Good team for show, but they were a playing team. They've been winning, so I can't count them out, but they're down 3-0, and we're in the finals to August. Another seventh seed from the play-in to the championship game. And they solid. Donovan Mitchell and Bam is actually a really good duo with Michael Porter Jr. That's solid. Tyus Jones is a good, usually a good backup. And Grant Williams is nice. But we got three 90s and, and a good uh, backcourt on top of that. 1-0, 2-0, Indy. First championship in franchise history is done. And Terry at 22 wins a finals MVP. We get number one done. And I say that. And I'm remembering that uh, we have 16 more seasons. A lot of the times it's going to be like maybe making small trades here or there and then just simulate it because this core right now is kind of insane. Trying to go back to back on this one, man. Chris Paul is the sixth man of the year. Okay, we got coach of the year and executive of the year. We're better than we were last year, which is dope. All NBA appearances from Evan Mobley and Terry Manis. We got the front court, the best front court in all the basketball, baby. 20 points per game for our guy Emo. And then Terry just says 16. But again, he's decided to let Emo take over. Emo jumped up about five points per. We love that for him. All right, let's see. Uh, first round, who are we going against? Should we worry about anybody? Boston Celtics got Giannis. We should worry about Giannis for sure. Um, but but tear up 2-0. Actually, I'm not, I'm not doing this. We're not about to let Giannis and himself defeat us. Let's go. Lock in, team. All right. There we go. 
There we go. G going to game seven. We won. Oh, man, that was so stressful when it didn't have to be. Look at our guy George, by the way. Playoffs stepping up, man. You love that in a game seven. All right, Knicks are next. We got Kyrie. Really solid team. Low key, really solid team. Not worried about it. You see how many 90s we got over here in Indiana? No team is matching that. 76ers? Oh, that front court is not it. How did y'all make it to the conference finals? Low key, nice little story, but it's coming to an end as we go against the Warriors, who are the two seed, who have Jalen Green and Kevin Durant. Wiggins is still there, by the way. We almost traded for Wiggins. And look at the difference in overall. If we would have traded for Wiggins, Wiggins would be an 84 right now. But instead, we traded for RJ, who turned into a 91. That's insane. But they got two 90s. And they, those are like two of the best players in basketball. 95s? Hold on. 95 got to be like two of the top 10, right? Oh, okay. There's a lot of 96. But 95 is up there. 95 is up there. All right. This is a real competition. Game one, we lose. One point overtime loss. Not even tripping. I mean, a 17 assist game and a 22 rebound game. We, I wish we would have won that one. I wish we would have won that one, but it is what it is. Next game. All right, we take him back. That's great. A triple-double from Manis. Eight offensive boards. He didn't shoot the ball too great, but eight offensive rebounds and a triple-double. I'm okay with that. Um, also, George, as a second-round pick, might be the best second-rounder we've ever drafted. Low-key. At least in 2K22. Next game. Manis is insane. We're up 3-1. And we get our second championship with Terry Manis again winning finals MVP. Do we have to worry about... Bringing anybody back? Oh. Oh, snap. The answer is yes. And a big yes. I kind of thought that um, this playoff run was about to be an easy three-peat. But the Orlando Magic is giving us some run. So, um, here we are. That backcourt that we mentioned earlier is like one of the best in basketball is uh, really that. Treyon K. Cunningham is giving us some work. Our backcourt doesn't really stand a chance. We got the front court killed. We go into a game seven. We're at home. Indy. Oh, wait. Indiana wins. Okay, great. Whew, and was he really that close? All right. Who we going against in the finals is the Memphis Grizzlies. Can we go three-peat? This is Jason Tatum, Josh Giddy, Jamal Murray. Cool. They got a guy named Colt Cook who looks I right. Not good enough. Okay. That is a three-peat. We are seven years in. And I think it's time for my break. So I'll be back. And we back for part two. I think we got seven years in part one, which means that we got 13 left. And it might be a third part, but we are here. We got to enjoy basketball alone if you don't know. Oh, look at that. That's, that's, that's the green screen. Just, just, we're fine. We're fine. I don't really remember where we left off. Um, I, well, I think we did a three-peat. I think we three-peated. It's been about 24 hours since then. Um, and we, we still look good. I still really, I still really like our team. Uh, we traded for Gus Graham. Traded Jeremy Grant, if I'm not mistaken. At the deadline last season. And I still feel pretty good. I think this could be another year where we win. Can we win four back to back to back to back to back to back to back? That's what we about to figure out. We have the 16th overall pick in this year's draft from a trade we did with the Pistons. I'm not completely sure what that trade was. I think it's time to move on from Jordan Poole. The team is about to get extremely, I mean, it already is extremely expensive, but it's about to get extremely, extremely expensive. And I'd rather be in front of it by trading away some stuff right now. Second overall pick I'm trading for. No, I don't know who's in this draft class, but I think we need some more youth. We need a person that's going to bridge the gap between this core and then the next core. Because uh, eventually this core is going to get old. I should probably look to see who's in this draft class. It's it's Buns. That's fine, though. Kind of. We also got Wendell Carter in that trade. Who we don't really, we don't need at all. Um, So I'll probably throw him to another team. You know what? Can we somehow flip into the first overall pick? Yes, we can. Saban Lee. Sure. He's cheap. He's a cheap player. So now we don't really have a shooting guard other than Dante DiVincenzo. And, and like I said, I think I'm okay with that. I, I trust a lot of the stuff that we got going on. I, I trust it. Am I dumb for trading away our starting shooting guard after three peak? Probably. But that, that that was the team that yesterday Kenny built. This is a brand new me. You know what I'm saying? This is a brand new me. And we got the first overall pick. And, and the, the potential top guy is this dude. No way. No way. Did I really trade for the first overall pick in a weak draft? We're actually just going to use the pick and just try to help develop. They're saying that this center should go first overall. We don't really need another center. Can you shoot? Our other guy can shoot, but we also got Emo. This was bad. This was really bad to trade for this pick and it ended up being. Like, this guy could be Gary Payton. He's 6'2 with a 6'7 wingspan, so he's taller. This guy could be Joe Dumars. We're trading down to the third overall pick, and we're getting Trey Mann. That's pretty good. We needed a shooting guard. We got one, and we got the third overall pick. So that could be the guy that's kind of helped bridge the gap. And this small forward is the is got zero badges. Never mind, not him. We can go with this John Wall type. 15 badges, 100%. Chip, welcome to... And it's a fun name, Chip. Come on, man. Um, another Hendrix. Another Hendrix in this draft class. But we got Chip at the third overall pick. Could be a stud. 
could not be a stud. It's a possibility. Both of those things are true. Add this thing that once a player starts to progress, we're getting them out of here. Forget about that team loyalty stuff. Our goal is to win as many championships as possible. So when you start to progress, you got to go. Except for like, Kevon Looney, I mean like, I, I was talking about like our top dudes. Dude. And they're still even getting better. Terry Manis is only 24 years old. Sheesh, I forgot how young he is. Three-time Finals MVP, if I'm not mistaken, Hall of Famer, guaranteed. Evan Mobley's there, okay. And yeah, our starting lineup looks exactly like this. We're somewhat small in that backcourt, but that's fine. We got a good bench in my opinion. And then we got Chip Newman, who I'm gonna send to uh, camp to be mentored by somebody. I don't know who it is just yet, but we got a lot of people that could potentially mentor him to become one of the better point guards in basketball. Is this his first MVP? I think this is your first MVP, correct? It is. Three-time champ, one-time MVP. He's been an all-star as long as he's been in basketball. He was All-NBA first team as a rookie. This man, Terry Manis, is going to go down as one of the best centers in the history of basketball, and I'd love to see that. Uh, do we have anybody else making an All-NBA team? Let's see, let's see. Evan Mobley's there, and that's it. We'll take two. 2K puts respect on multiple players in your team. They did that. Now we're going against the Atlanta Hawks in the first round. They have Patrick Williams and Isaac Corbo as their top two players, which is cool. You see how many 90 overall players in our team? It's three. We're, 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 we're sweeping them boys. Do I need to show you the whole playoffs? I think we go four in a row. The answer is, is a complete sweep. Nobody's coming close. Where's the comp? Where's comp? Because we ain't seen it yet. We see the four straight championships. I classify that as a dynasty. I don't see any other team messing with us. As long as our core is intact, which it will be, because I think everybody's still in the contract for multiple seasons. Emo got to get back in here. But uh, the, core is, the core is intact. The core is intact. What did our rookie do? Did you even get minutes? You got a championship. He did not get minutes this, this first season. He was between the G and everything. And that's fine. That's what we wanted him to do. Get a free ring, and one day you'll be a part of the rotation. That one day is probably starting this season. We won another championship. You ain't got to worry about that. Chip is actually better than George, who we just extended on like a big old deal. And Chip is like that. Chip is, might win the starting spot. He's also more of a score first, while George is more of a pass first. So maybe he's better suited as a six man. Either way, we got good options. I mean, I extended him for a long time. We'll see how this season goes. Maybe we trade him next year. It don't make sense to be trade or to be having somebody like that on the team for that much money if in next year he's gonna get overtaken by Chip and Chip is gonna be the starter. So we just won another championship. It wasn't that big of a deal at this point. We just so used to it. We're the modern day Spurs, but we actually went back to back. So uh, no nobody can really mess with us with this current core. Actually. Actually, this, this offseason is a big one because Terry is up for an extension. And same thing with Trey Mann. Trey Mann, what are you saying? Very loyal. Great. Mann is extremely loyal. He wants to get his contract done right now. Can we somehow get that done right now? Or if we could just lock you up, we'll resign. Beautiful. Trey, I mean... Why, why would I not bring, keep bringing back the court as winning us championships? Like, I'd be crazy to be like, oh, let's let's change it up right now. That's not how we doing it, baby. We're going to continue to win, and we're going to keep this court until we're not winning anymore. Second round, Orlando Magic down 3-2 to this team again. Trey Young and Kay Cunningham. That backcourt is giving us problems every time we run into them. We're down 3-2. That means we have to sim cast. We're in Orlando. Is it still the Amway? I might be bugging. But for some reason, I imagine it being the Amway. It's a very close game, which I don't really like. So close that it keeps flipping. We win to force a game seven. And now we at home. And you know what we do when we at home. Actually, I mean, I hope we win. I don't really know. We started off the game terribly. We gave up 41 points in the first quarter. That's not how you win basketball games, but they gave us up 40 in that second quarter. So the second half, I mean, this is a super high scoring game. We lost. We lost. Our defense was non-existent in this one. Oh my God, the defense was terrible. The first time we've been eliminating the playoffs in what, five seasons? You know, we were on a nice little run. Sacramento Kings won their first championship in however long. We were on a nice little run, man. Also, uh, Manis has been winning MVPs. We've been winning Coach of the Years, you know, no big deal. We had just won five in a row. It's not too bad, though. It's not too bad. That's the ninth season? Tenth season? That way, hold on, hold on. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was ninth season. So we're going into this year is the halfway point 
of this video, which sounds crazy to say out loud because I feel like I've been here for, for a super, super long time. See what we can do. Does that mean like, oh, it's time to make some changes to the team? Or was this just like, uh, we, we had some fatigue after winning five in a row. Like we got to figure out what exactly that loss was. I mean, Chip, Chip is probably the starting point guard this year. How much money are we talking, Chip? Oh, Chip is, uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chip's first real season. What did you average? 16 and four. That four scares me as a point guard, bro. That score, that four really, really scares me. He's got good playmaker badges, but none of them are really passing. Okay, he got a few. Hendricks is like a passing, the, the most elite passer in basketball. I'm gonna try something. Don't think it's gonna work. Tyler Hero's a 90. He's 30 years old though. Can we somehow package to get in one of the best shooting guards in basketball? You know what I mean? That are also under contract for a long time. Is that possible right now? First, we gotta figure out what our our group of people that we could potentially get is. Or maybe we could look point guard because I don't know how tall you are, Chip. How tall are you? It's only 6'2", ugh. But we've been running Trey Mann who's 6'3". Cause again, Chip is more of a scorer anyway. So maybe we look point guard and think like, hey, Who's a facilitating point guard that can get everybody underway? And, and we look at it that way. LaMelo's the best in basketball. We don't have enough to get LaMelo. Or do we? I'm adding him to my list. We got this Pat Ramsey guy. Really nice. I don't, I, I'm adding him to my list, even though I don't think we'd be able to. All these other dudes in the middle are like older, and I prefer not to trade for them. Troy averaged about nine assists per, but that's not that's not moving the needle too much. Uh, let's go back to shooting guards two. K Cunningham is number one. So the last year of his deal. Jalen Green is a possibility to add him to my list. Why not, man? Or we can go Giddy. Giddy's not a bad option. As a, He's a playmaker that can score. His first year in Chicago, I'm assuming that he won't be untouchable. And if he is, you know what we do about that. We don't, we don't do untouchables on this channel. He's not untouchable. And he's a shooting guard, but can play like the one. An option. He's 32 years old. And you got a no trade clause, but he'd be willing to waive that in order to come to Chicago. He's 32 years old. Lonzo, welcome to the team. I'm looking at it like this. Lonzo's gonna start at the one, and Hendricks is gonna stay as our sixth man right now. That's the way he got it coming up, right? Don't he got multiple six man of the year awards? Like, I think he'd be one of them. Okay, I think he'd be willing uh, to come off the bench if we asked him to. And then we might deal him next season or something. So now we just fill out our roster with people. Uh, we can bring Gus Graham back. I think he was solid for us. He helped us win the championship. Bring Gus Graham back, then sign a backup center. I don't really care who it is. We got the best student in basketball. We just need somebody to soak up some minutes. Isaiah Roby, welcome to the team. And Jimmy Hall will probably come back too because he's restricted. And we got a brand new looking team, kind of. Lazo again, he's older, but it is what it is. Ship got worse. Again, that's just because we changed his position. Gus at 29? Come on, bro. I didn't think he was going to do that. We're feeling good, though. We're feeling good. I think we can, we can recover. I said a couple minutes ago that we hadn't seen this Warriors team, and here we are in the final seeing that Warriors team. Lamelo and Giannis, Herb Jones. Actually, we have seen this team, haven't we? I'm pretty sure we've beat them before in the finals. Hold on. NBA history, past champions, we beat the Warriors, we beat the Warriors. So they trying to get big revenge because they've been to the finals three times at this point and they ain't won one yet because they keep going against this powerhouse that is the Indiana Pacers and we back, baby. This man, Terry Manis, has won three straight MVP awards too. He's not even putting up ridiculous stats, but he's averaging... I can't even say close to triple-double. Seven assists, about 20 points, you know what I'm saying? And he's doing his thing. And we're the best team of all. So it's like, yeah, he making it work. Lonzo on his first season with the Bulls. Well, not the <laughs> with the Pacers. 12 and 9. He did exactly what we wanted him to. Hit some open threes and play make. We got that. Chip is a starting shooting guard, 16. His numbers are pretty much identical to when he was coming off the bench. Either way, we won. And we'll be back, <laughs> like we always are. Uh, everybody's extremely loyal on my team, bro. These boys love hooping with each other. I don't know, Lonzo is only a very. Everybody else an extremely. Today's a very bad day in franchise history because we lost Chip. We were already the most expensive team in NBA history, and he wanted to be a part of our team. Uh, we wanted to have him back, but we couldn't afford to do it. So he went on to his next team, and it is a Spurs on a one-year deal. We just, we just didn't have the money. So good thing that I didn't trade Hendricks because we kind we kind of need him nowadays. I guess Lonzo is sliding over to the two. Just know we lost a lot of depth today. We traded up to get him. That's how much we really liked him as a player. I wish him nothing but the best in San Antonio. That's, that's a huge blow to the organization. I mean, overall depth is a big problem. I mean, luckily we got majority of our people locked up for multiple seasons. So we don't really have to worry about the top end talent. We're really relying on a rookie. I didn't even know. I don't know who this guy is. I didn't even know we had the seventh overall pick. 
relying on a rookie and then this guy at the back end. So we, we might make a trade throughout the middle of the season, depending on how good we are. I'm assuming that we're going to be still pretty solid, but of course that hurts. I mean, the guy, the guy was our starting our started shooting guard. Time to trade Lonzo. Oh, we won a championship, by the way. It's time to trade Lonzo because he's 34 years old in the last year of his deal. And even though he is somewhat loyal, oh, he's extremely loyal now after winning another championship. Um, he's older, and then Anthony Edwards is an option. Hello? Like, why would I Why would I not say? He's only 30 years old at this point, three years left on his contract. He's only been a three-time All-Star, which is surprising. Uh, but we got to do what we got to do. We're trading uh, Gus Graham, too. He was washed at this point anyway. And we traded the 30th overall pick. So we're going to have... Uh, Anthony Edwards be our shooting guard this upcoming season with, of course, our guy who is a seven-time All-Star at this point. Jesus Christ, we've won that many championships. We are really hooping out here. And, yeah, we feel good. We feel good. That's the only major change that we need to do other than signing some people in free agency to help our team not be terrible on the back end. Championship run was pretty easy, though. Like a backup. There's another ball, bro. We had the other ball brother here. Uh, backup. Point guard is kind of needed at this point. So that's what, that's what we're looking for. Oh, I wasn't paying attention and we lost. I mean, it wasn't anything I could do to prevent it, I guess. But we lost. And, and a lot of the people are getting older. And it, it might be time to restart the core. I mean, the bro just won another MVP this season. You know what I'm saying? What, what type of craziness would I be, be on? He's extremely loyal and he's on the last year of his deal. RJ's 33. We probably got to pack RJ up and get him out of here. I grew up a fan of the Pacers. That's, we traded you based off you cap it to us off rip. What are you talking about? You grew up a fan of the Pacers. My heart is here in Indiana, bet. Uh, but RJ at 30 plus years old, I'm gonna be honest with you, RJ, you probably got to go, which is unfortunate, man. You've been here for such a long time. But the good thing is we made you a Hall of Fame. Oh, we not, we didn't make him. We helped him become a Hall of Fame. Because nobody's averaging 20 plus points per game for the entirety of their career while also averaging, oh, I'm sorry, winning seven championships and making 10, to, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 RJ Hall of Famer. And I think what's best is us trading to maybe get younger here. The only problem is younger is gonna hurt us in the long run. Oh, who's in this draft class? Is there a stud? These draft, well, well, this guy's pretty good, but I feel like every year we draft in point guards. Basketball IQ was a D as a point guard, so we can't draft you. Yeah, nah, we, we haven't had a really solid draft class. So nope, even though that's that first overall pick, we're not really interested. Hey, I don't know who you are, Mr. Reed um, Reed. He's a 93 overall, never made an all-star game, never made an all-NBA nothing, but he's a 93 overall player. The badges look elite. He can shoot his butt off. Hall of Fame shooting badges. We have to trade for you. He's 6'6". Six, six. Oh, RJ, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said we got to get younger. We're doing exactly that. I'm going to move Anthony Edwards back over to small four because that's what he was when we traded for him originally. And Woolrich, you're going over to the shooting guard position. And just like that, we're younger. Cool. Not extremely younger, but younger nonetheless. We'll take, I mean, the rest of the team still old. But we got younger there. And that guy looks like a a, a beast. George, you're next. I, I got to see. This guy's dropping just because we changed his position. George has got to be the next one to go. Oh, we're such an old team now. Oh, that sucks, man. We we helped build these guys and we, you know, we won a bunch of championships. George has to get out. We have to. And he's on the last year of his deal, so he has to get moved like right now, right? Yeah, last year of your, your deal. Would love to keep you here for the entire time, but I know you're going to want a lot of money even though you ain't that good no more. I'm going to trade our pick this year and see what we can do. We're still looking for point guard or shooting guard play because we can move that other dude back over if we need to. Billy Carter, welcome to the team. I don't know anything about you, but you're younger at 26 years old. I mean, average about 20 points per game the last three seasons. Not that much of a playmaker. That's completely okay with me because uh, we have playmakers in Reed and we have playmakers in our, Gord, our guy Manis over here who averages really good numbers. So are we going to win a championship, man? I don't know. We didn't re-orchestrate this entire team. So only time will tell. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Chip won six man of the year. I'm happy for him, man. I really am happy for him. I, I wish it could have been here. Also, the guy that we thought about potentially drafting with the DIQ as a point guard, uh, one rookie of the year. So, you know, we made some decisions. We were the one seed again. This is the first year in a long time where our guy wasn't all NBA first team. He was second team. He's 31 years old at this point. But he feels like a dude since we drafted him so early in this video that he's a for lifer. The rest of the dudes, the exterior dudes, the ant ancillary, is that the word I'm looking for? Those dudes on the outside, I ain't really worried about too much, you know? So this is year 13. We get out of the first round to go against New York, who beat us last time. Guess what? My boys are here and they're better. We're going against another New York-based team. We beat them and we're back in the finals against the Rockets. And just like that, we sweep and Evan Mobley averaged 28 in the finals. We are really doing our thing, man. 
Really, really doing our thing out here. Uh-oh, wait, what did I just read? Overall records, fifth and triple-double, Terry Manis. Jalen Green is fifth in 50-point games, too. So we got <laughs> we got some real-life hoopers, you know what I'm saying? Some real-life hoopers. Okay, I think it's time for me to take my second break. I'll be back. So we're back with part three. Uh, if you are here at part three, please leave a like and comment down below. I made it to part three. All right, here we go. So we only got a few more seasons left, so let's power through this, man. I think it's time to trade Anthony Edwards. He's 32 years old. He's going to be regressing, and he is extremely loyal, but he's only been here for a few seasons, so we ain't extremely loyal to him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the trade finder with our 30th overall pick because, of course, we got the 30th overall pick because we actually like that. See what we can get, man. I'm trying to get younger. That, that's what I'm thinking in my head. Any trade to make us younger. First overall pick. I don't believe that there's going to be a guy. It's, I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to assume that there is no guy. Kelgen Byers is a is a person. And we also get a guy in Cedric Sampson, who's pretty good as well. So we can get some of that depth that's been an issue. Some point guards. There's Robin Hendricks, another guy that we've seen before in this video. Uh, I think I got to go with that one trade just because it gives us two players that are really solid. Overall, is not that much of a difference. Contract-wise, we got him under contract for three years, and this guy under contract for two years, and boom, just like that, we improved our depth at least a little bit. I mean, look at that. Point guard, shooting guard position. Oh, the shooting guard position is low-key kind of stacked. We might have to trade some of them to get... I can't even say nothing because I forgot Jimmy Hill was on the team. Jimmy Hill's getting traded, bro. Jimmy's making too much money for what he does. Former 30th overall pick. He's been here from the very beginning, and I rock with you, Jimmy. I promise you I do. But I definitely, six-time champion, I'm definitely not about to be paying you all of the money that you think you're worth. So I'd, I'd rather I'd rather flip you right now with our own pick for next year because, again, we're going to be good. Straight up for the first overall pick, I'll actually do that. I'll actually do that. I don't think there's going to, like I said, I don't think there's going to be somebody that's elite, elite in this draft class. But all youth is good youth, in my opinion. We don't need somebody that's going to come in and help us right now. And this, this is a small four. That's a center. Uh, who's projected to go one? The center is. On almost, on almost every single draft board. Now, Donovan Patterson is pretty solid too, it looks like. Projected to potentially be KD or Chandler Parsons versus Steven Adams and All-NBA. I like the idea of KD, personally. So even though the center might be the, the right pick, at least right now he's got the higher overall. I like the idea of potentially getting Kevin... Oh, you can't really shoot like that though. You, you, can't, you can't be KD without that silky smooth jump shot. And what about you? What do you excel at? Just good defender? Overall, just great defender? I'm going with Donovan, bro. We need more wing play anyway. We got our center. Our center's here for the rest of the video, bro. 80 overall versus 78. That's not that big of a deal to me. Especially when you consider what we already have. Like, we have the center. Arguably the greatest center in the history of basketball. Six MVPs, eight-time champion. That is arguably the greatest center in the history of basketball. So, now we got a guy. And our wing spot, that's, as a rookie, he's going to actually get PT here. Because Leon Ball, we can let Leon Ball go. We can let Homer Sh 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 Schultz go. And now we just fill out our roster with a backup power forward that we like. And then we 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 decent. We're in a good spot. I got Manis. We just extended him. Big deal. Like, big old contract. I told him that he's going to retire here. He wasn't willing to take a pay cut. But he's already regressed into an 83. He dropped three, which is scary. Because next year, he might drop three again. Then three again. And then that last year of his contract is going to look terrible. But I can't be a hypocrite because I was telling y'all that we all about team chemistry. We all about taking care of the guy. And I mean, only this guy, nobody else. We're, we're about taking care of the guy. So I just got to hope that his regression is a lot less than what we just saw that year. Star lineup still looks elite, if you ask me, with Emo and then Woodridge, who's playing his first season here, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, he played here last year. What am I talking about? Second season here. But like, this is a new guy. This is the second season. Okay, never mind. Um, it's been like six hours since I filmed the last one. So, okay, cut me some slack, all right? And then we got, is that Patrick Williams? Nope, it is a guy named Phil Williams, okay? Phil Williams is here. We got Patterson, who's our first overall pick. Go get some minutes, man. I, I want to see you hoop. I want to see you hoop, Patterson. The torch is being passed, man. My boy Manis has won a lot of MVPs, and now it's Emob's time to shine, I guess. Um, this is the guy we passed up on for Rookie of the Year. He got it. Shout out to him. I knew we weren't going to get it because he's only playing a couple minutes per game. But here are his stats if you were interested. It's a long-term play, not a right-now play. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. Did we get an All-NBA player for Manis? He did not make it. That's like the first time he didn't make it at all in a very, very long time. Are we still good enough to win a championship in the year 2035? First round, we get out of there. Second round, we get out of there. Third round, we get out of there. Finals, we win. Emo again. 
I cannot believe the, the amount of success we're seeing right now. We have had the MVP winner one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the last eight years. That, that's insane. And when it comes to championships, well, you you can see the trophy case is kind of crazy. That's year 14. We got six years to go. Everybody's in the contract, at least to the next season. I got to figure out what we want to do with Billy Carter. Are you a, he's a very loyal, Indiana's where I want to be. Okay, we can start talking about contract and sense a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, this offseason is really going to be a bunch of nothing. JK, we got the fifth overall pick because we made a trade early in the video with the I, I don't know, Milwaukee. I don't remember what trade that was. Milwaukee gave us their first round pick. And that first round pick ended up being top five. So the youth movement is about to continue to go. Bridging the gap between now and yesterday. So actually, I'm going to use that pick. I'm not even going to look to trade it or nothing. We're just going to draft the guy that maybe have the, the highest potential. Stash him on the bench for a season or two. Let him get his reps up and practice against some of the best teams. That, this draft class is terrible. Fifth overall pick, the best guy available is a 23-year-old, and he's a C plus. Yeah, no, we trading this pick. I'm sorry, G. I, I can't. I can't even lie to you. I said we were keeping it. I cannot lie. We have to get rid of it. I get rid of the second round too, because if the first round is bad, I know that second round is bad. I'm trading down to eight. We're actually gonna use eight, but we got a future first from a team that's in the lottery right now. I don't know if it's gonna turn into anything, but we're gonna try our best. We're gonna draft this guy. He's already 23, but I don't really care. He might be able to be a perennial backup to one of the greatest to ever do it. Draft class 77. That's a really good pick. Again, he's older. He probably won't get much better than that, but as a backup, we'll take that. It's not looking great, man. It's not. Four years left on the deal. It's about to be like the worst contract in basketball. Emove is getting worse as well. It's about to be like the worst contract in basketball by the end of his sheesh. Uh, Donovan, as the um, rookie, he's about to be playing big time minutes. Whew. Yeah, this is this is going to be a rough season, I believe. Now that Manis is no longer the top dog when it comes to centers, it's definitely going to be rough. But we do got Emob, and then some of the other dudes, I don't remember none of their names, uh, that's going to hold it down. Like, we still got 290 pluses and then 288s. Like, we're good. We're actually good. I'm overthinking it. We're solid. We about to go ahead and do it again. Uh, another championship. Didn't matter. I'm I'm so sad that we're at this point where Phil Williams is going to end up being the starting center of the team soon. It does suck. But the good thing is that our guy Donovan, the first former first overall pick, is getting a lot better. And he could be starting very soon. This guy, are you, are you loyal? He's extremely loyal. Everybody becomes extremely loyal once once they start getting them championships in them. You know what I'm saying? This guy's not extremely, and he said he wants to test his market. Reed, I hate to trade you, my boy. You've been you've been a staple around here for the last four three seasons, but 100% you will get traded because the rookie can get some starter minutes if we trade you out of the way. I'm trying to figure out if I should try to trade a fourth center and get Manis to transition to to being off the bench guy. You know, like what type of numbers are you putting up, Manis? Let's see. He's still putting up solid numbers, you know. The splits are a little bit down, but it's not bad whatsoever. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, oof. It's a lot, that's a lot of money to be paying a dude to be a six man. But we told him he's going to be all right. Now, I hope that we don't get to the point where he's, oh, you're only 27? Oh, I might want to just keep you and test my chances, low key. You're 23. And you're only 6'2", though. And they'll give us a center. This is the guy we drafted eighth. I'm sorry, no, it's not. This guy, we just drafted 30th. Oh, this guy's 28, which is one year older. I'm just doing some math for you right there. Uh, and then this guy's kind of a stud. Former fourth overall pick. I'm sorry, we're, we're dropping in some overall for sure, but we're looking towards our future a little bit more. We're down to 190 overall player in the in the lineup. 190. And it's Evan Mobley, who's been that dude, but it's only one like 190. And actually, they, they want our guy to come off the bench, and I can't even be mad at him. It's about that time. It's about that time. All right, man. You know, you gave us some really, 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 like legit, arguably the greatest center to ever pick up a basketball with your resume. So I'm, I'm happy for you, but it's time to transition. We got the sixth man of the year. That's great. What I'm realizing is that even though we have a weaker team, if you, I'm putting in a quotation marks, weaker team, it doesn't really matter because the rest of the league is so bad that our team is still S tier compared to the others. We got one, two, three, four, five, 88 and above. Look at the rest of the teams. No 88. Oh, oh, we just traded them this guy, didn't we? Dang. So two 88 and above, one 88 and above, three 88 above. Like we are really better than everybody when it comes to the on paper stuff. You know, so I, I feel good. Even though we're trading people and people are getting old and stuff, I still feel good in our ability to go out there and potentially win another championship, bro. 
Yeah, that's not ideal. Um, hmm. Oh, and that guy that we passed up on just won finals MVP. What, what team is that? The Lakers. He's won finals MVP with the Lakers. Look at his stats. That, nah, we ain't tripping that we passed up on you. So we don't win the championship this year. And then we lose to, to Reed, who we just traded away. He took that so personal. I'm not even mad at you, bro. I'm not even mad at you. Congratulations on your, your series win, even though, you know, you got beat up in the... That's fine. I think we've won. I'm, no such thing as won enough championships. No NBA fan was like, ah, I think we've won enough. No, I'm not mad about losing just because we've done so much. Again, we, we go over here to past championships. We were coming off a three-peat, you know? So I'm, I'm okay with, the, with, with that. We just got to retool. That's all. Somehow we still have four years left, which seems just like a ton. Seems just like a ton. I'm going to be honest with you. I might phone these last four years in a little bit. Like, like, yeah, I want to win more championships, don't get me wrong. But it's not, it seems like there's not a ton. That, oh, my God. Our top three players are free agents right now. Oh, my God. Did I, I'm talking about phone today. I might have already done that by not re-signing those dudes. This is, like, we might be going into a tank. He's got 13 offers. This is, you're supposed to end your career here. All right, cool. Buyers? He's got one offer that he really like, and it's from the Jazz. I don't know if I could give up all his money. And he's, okay, probably going to stay. And then Phil Williams, I don't really care about. Who is the guy? Who is it? It was another dude, right? Didn't I say top three players and not top two players? Maybe it's a qualifying offer. Anyway, just bring him back. Do we have the money to do that? Oh, it's easy. We back. <laughs> we back. Emob is 36. Yeah, we gave him a lot of money for a 36-year-old, but he's still our top player in this world. So it is what it is. We take care of the guys that's been here forever. When we traded for Emo like 10, 12 years ago, you know, he went from a 14 point per game score to a consistent 20 plus, except for this year we used 19.9. So I, I feel good about our team still. Point guard position locked up, shooting guard, we gotta figure out what's going on with Ian Ter uh, Terrell. Are you a loyal guy? Because somewhat loyal? Oh, free agency? Bet, that, ain't mean, that don't mean nothing to me. We're not just about to lose people for nothing. I will throw a pick in, and we about to get somebody that's a shooting guard that can match that production. I don't know who, who Pete Cook is. Last year, he averaged 20, giving up 16. Deal. Don't mean me no difference. If you can hoop, you can come play for us. That's that's our motto. If you can hoop, you can play for us. I'll bring back uh, Phil. Never mind. I guess we, guess we can't bring you back. We just going to let it ride again. Four seasons left, man. We almost at the finish line, and we're going to do a good recap of how many championships we won. Dang, it's rough out here. It's rough out here for you, my boy. I I like our chances, but if we never won another championship, I wouldn't be too mad either. I like our chances, though. I'm just saying. I mean, this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Like, what, what can I what can I say? We're just the best drafter of all time. He won an MVP award. I mean, it's only 21 points. I don't know how he did it, but we he won an MVP award. Like, I cannot believe this. We real life just keep drafting MVP winners. Now, this guy who we passed up on is all NBA second team. He's a 90. Our MVP players are 93. Oh, okay, so we are better. Yeah, that was the best pick. Wow. And Reed is still doing it as well. So shout out to Reed, man. You know, I got I got a lot of love for the people that we uh that we got rid of. I still got a lot of love for y'all. I mean, it's gonna be better once we uh win this championship. Get out of the first round, second round, conference finals, got swept in the finals. Got swept in the finals. Um I would like more for my number one option. A uh, George Hendricks, a guy that spent a lot of his career with us, calls it a career at 25 or 35 years old. Uh, I'm guessing you're not gonna make the haul, my boy. He did not make the haul. He did he, get his number retired by us though, so that's fun. We, he got his number retired by us. You gotta love that at least a little bit. I'm just gonna continue to do what we do, which is simulate and bring people back and to simulate. It's the last year of Manis' deal. I hope that he just retires. Just just, just call it a career, my boy. Don't make me have to bring you back. We don't need that, man. Just just call it a career after this. At this point, he's not even in the rotation. Our team ain't that, ain't that good no more, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we still got some top guys. Again, we got the MVP of the league on our team. You know, look at this. Look at, look at this rotation right here. Look at the rotation. Like, I, I can make it better. And you know what? I will make it better. Why am I, why am I uh, not out here doing the best I can possibly do? Let's make this a little bit better by trading some pieces get, with some first-round picks. Just go ahead and get people... That could come in and hoop for us. Maybe there's one last hurrah championship for, for Manis. There's a 280 overall players. Let's just get our overalls up, bro. Don't worry about nothing else but improving the team right now. I forgot to unpause it. Oh, my God, bro. I'm so mad at myself. 
I am so mad at myself. I forgot to unpause. We got the last hurrah championship for Terry Manis. I'm guessing that he's gonna he's gonna retire. Nope, but this guy did. Who who the heck are you? And why are you retiring? Oh, he's ten year pro. Uh, at least I thought it was the last hurrah championship for him. I thought he was retiring after this year, but he didn't. But hey, we got another one, man. I'm so mad at myself. I forgot to hit unpause, bro. He sucks. He didn't even get no PT. I'm being honest with you. We gonna resign him though because he's our dude. He's kind of in his Udonis Haslam phase at this point. I just would rather him retire. See if we have that same hurrah and get another championship. We lose again. It's fine. I'm not even worried about it. I'm more trying to see if our guy's gonna finally retire and he does at 37 years old. The resume is insane. Six time MVP, 11 time NBA champion. Now I wish we got the last one. He matched Bill Russell's championships. Only a 12 time All-Star, which is surprising out of his uh, 17 years. He stopped being an All-Star the last couple years because he wasn't very good. But overall, what a career from our guy. Let's take a look at career average or career high in points is 43, eight made threes, 26 rebounds, assists is 16, six blocks, eight steals. Six steals, eight blocks. He's a big man, Kenny, come on. As you know, he's gonna be a bona fide Hall of Famer with that much success. 300 less games in the mellow ball. Those guys came in a couple years before him though, so that makes sense. And overall, great jersey retirement, 1,000%. Spent his entire career from 2022. We drafted him in year one of this video until now. So it's so cool to see him get his number retired and him do his thing. So 23,000 points, about 15,000 rebounds, some steals. 23,000 points though, that's what we gotta look for. He's definitely in there somewhere at 23,000. Um, it's towards the bottom, but he is gonna be in there in like the 70 to 90 range. I'm not really about to look. But when it comes to triple doubles, you know he was up there real high on triple doubles when we, once we first started. He ended up being fifth all-time in triple doubles, a little bit less than uh, the original Mr. Triple Double and Oscar Robertson, which is dope. Brandon Ingram played the most games in NBA history. <laughs> is that crazy to say aloud? Brandon Ingram played the most games in NBA history. We don't have much left, ladies and gentlemen, and I appreciate everybody that's been watching. These last couple years, we might breeze through just to get to the point where we are calling it a wrap. This next year is actually year, year 20. Next year's your 20. So I want to end with a win. I definitely want to end with a win. And now I wish that I would have told uh, Mr. Manis not to retire so we could get him ring number uh, uh, 820. Nope. Ring number 12. Um, but we, we didn't do that. So it is what it is. We're going to continue to bring this same core together um, and, and try to win one more time. We got the um, defensive player of the year now. This is the last possible season. I'm just, I'm just trying to go out with a bang. And that just means a championship. First round, Milwaukee Bucks. We lost the first game. That's not a good side for this entire run. But hey, it is what it is. Second round, we get out of there in seven. Third round, we... this Jonathan Wheeler guy has won the last couple championships. He's he's real. He's the, he's the real deal. I can't even be mad at it. Uh, I forgot how much 20 years of simulation and team building really is. So I'm not even tripping about the fact of us losing the last couple because I was I was ready. I was ready to call it quits. We take a look over here one last time, NBA history. We take a look at past champions. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven championships in 20 years. That's pretty good if you ask me. That's pretty good if you ask me. Uh, especially since we kind of didn't didn't care too much in the last couple of years. 11 is dope, because we had a three streak, we had a five streak, and then, you know, a couple twos. I gotta give a lot of love to the people that helped. I mean, this guy Donovan is like the real deal. I cannot believe we got him. And then the other guys was Evan Mobley. Shout out to e -Mob. I think he's gonna retire, right? He's 40, you're 40, E. Just call it, bro, just call it. He, he refused to do that, which I understand, man. He, he's been on top of the world this entire video. Who, why would he retire? Either way, I'm, ret I'm retiring from GM and bro. 20 years, 11 championships later. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Definitely one of the longer ones in recent history, but it's the end of NBA 2K22. So we, we gotta go, gotta go ham. I appreciate y'all. Peace.